Now that I have covered the best farming spots in the game, I will be sharing my method of re-rolling my transmutation rolls. You might be asking why do I need to re-roll, the results from transmutation are random, right? Well, to be honest, not really. Every time a player finishes a quest, the system allocates predetermined sigils the players can get from transmutation, which I will be explaining more later on. In this video, I will be teaching you how to re-roll these results so you will have better chances of getting your desired sigils in the process, especially those characters specific sigils, those are the shiny ones, also I will be sharing my personal practice as well so you can adapt it and then get your desired sigils. I suggest doing transmutation rerolls after you unlock the highest level of transmutation which is level 3 and you can do this after reaching proud difficulty. Not only you will be unlocking the highest level of transmutation, but you will also be unlocking Transmarvel which provides tier 5 plus sigils and character exclusive sigils easily. Let's move on to the actual method and I will be dividing this by steps. For step 1, after you unlock level 3 transmutation and Transmarvel, you are ready now for your rerolls, which is accumulating knickknack vouchers. Since it is easy to get knickknack vouchers due to the present farming spots, I usually stockpile 999 vouchers before going on to the next step. Now for step 2, I will be accessing level 3 transmutation and using all of my earned vouchers. Then I will repeat step 1 to earn vouchers again by simply running the farming spots. I tend to run assault formation since it gives me faster vouchers. After repeating step 1 and step 2, accumulate at least 10 pools of trans marvel and that's where I am starting re-rolling. But for the sake of the video, let's go for 5 pools in this one and making this an example. To demonstrate its predetermined results, let's pull 5 trans marvels. The first pool will be Tyranny 5 Plus. The second one will be a Hellman's Navigation, Rackham's Character Specific Sigil. The third one will be Sequestration Ride Stones. And the fourth one will be Holy Knight's Luster, which is Sir Lotta's specific sigil. And the fifth one is the desirable one, which will be Rosetta's Awakening with plus and a perfect sigil. Now, this is already a perfect scenario, and usually I am keeping this one. Now, to prove that the results are predetermined, don't save the game and load your progress. Pull 5 Trans Marvel again, and it will provide you with the same results. Now, if you don't like these results or you are eyeing for a different sigils, move on to step 4. Step 4 is loading your save and do any easy quest and this will reset the results of your pulls. Now, what I usually do is access the quest Worried About Papa where you can easily beat a crocodile. After finishing this quest, save your progress and move on to step 5. Now for step 5, pull another 5 trans marble again and notice that you will be getting 5 different ones already. If you simply do not want the results, just repeat the process until you receive the ones you need. Pretty easy and neat, it is crazy that transmutation is not based on random results. Use this technique to get the sigils that you need, especially character specific sigils and high tier damage cap sigils. I don't know if they will patch this or not but I am hoping they will not. If you are new to the game and you are looking for guidance, click my beginner guide here to have the best start possible and I will see you on the next one.